Hello, I'm working on Activity 73, A Day on Earth. As you can see, I have a setup here where I have a lamp that represents the sun. I have a ring stand that's going to be actually the person that's holding on to my earth, which is this blue sphere. So, you notice that I have this sphere at a bit of an angle rather than straight up and down. I have it at an angle because the Earth is tilted 23.5 degrees um, and this is going to actually be representing winter in the northern hemisphere. But we're not quite there yet. So I look at my light here and you can see that there's this line that goes straight down the center of my sphere. Now as I look at this I have this half which is my day time and I have this half which is my night time. Now right here would be the point where my planet is getting full sunlight. On there that would be daytime because the planet is facing towards the sun. Now here my sphere would be halfway through the day portion of its rotation. And the, if that's the case, then right here in the center of this rotation would be noon. Likewise, if I go around to the other side, you can see that there's another line on the other side that's right directly below it. And because that's right directly on the other side of it, that's where the light is changing. Now, wherever the light changes like this, and you're getting that transition point, that kind of fuzzy shadow sort of point, that's the exchange between night and day. If you think about it, when does night turn to day and day turn to night? Well, that would be dawn and dusk. If I continue around to the other side, you will notice that it blocks out the sun, which is the lamp. And this side is technically dark. So this is the side of the earth that would be in night. And I come back around full circle and again it gets me to that division where night is transferring to day or day is transferring to night and you get that dawn or dusk.